hello my pretties got another message for you guys today is tuesday july 19th um I'm looking at something that, you know, tells me somebody may have left something in your home in order to manipulate your dreams, okay? Um, in the last read, we did talk about that, like someone trying to fatten you up in the dream state in order to, um, for you to reach out to them or for if they were to reach out to you, you um, would give in, okay? Um, for example, it's like it seemed like they trying to like, just in case they cross your path or, you know, bump into you, um, which it seems like they would try to do. Because it seems like this person was coming towards you. But at first, what they wanted to do was fill your subconscious with memories, um, even apologizing in a dream state, loving on you in a dream state, maybe even having sex with you in a dream state, okay? So that when they do cross your path or... Um, if you reach out to them or if they reach out to you, you can already be fattened up. Um, it feels to me like they were going to somebody to be able to do this. Somebody who is involved in this three of cups situation like the coven or the group or whatever this is, okay, that the person is connected to. Go and look at the last read. It seems like with the trust, dreams, and home, somebody may have left something in your in your home. It may be in the shape of a circle. I'm not sure. If, to me, it feels like it's round, okay? Um, it could be behind your mirror or they could be using the mirror, okay, as some sort of portal make sure you are wiping your um mirrors down with ammonia you can even use the uh, la bomba that i have on the pretty oracle.com the black one okay that black one i don't have no more white as a matter of fact i forgot to put that as sold out somebody just bought the last one um but i have the black one which is just as good if not even better because it's stronger okay um to wipe down your your, your windows your window sills and stuff like that and your, and your mirrors, okay? Stuff that they use as portals, okay? Especially with this energy of truth here. Somebody does not want you to be able to see. If you are intuitive, somebody does not want you to be able to see. And even if you don't, um, everybody's intuitive if you ask me. But um, they don't want you to be able to see, okay? This person is arrogant as hell. Just because of who they got behind them. Okay, I always tell y'all about these people that be into this gang stalking shit. Like, they don't stand a chance by themselves. And a lot of them, you know, um, feel like they have big balls because they are backed by a group of people. Okay, they not coming at you alone because they can't. They cannot. Okay. Leo Energy is here. For those of you who were thinking about um, a, a specific dream home or moving towards a specific dream home or just moving, please keep that. Keep that in your keep that in your heart, okay? Because it feels like it's going to manifest. Don't lose hope or trust in this um, materializing for you. Yeah, with the with the sun and the seven of cups, like this this has a lot to do with trying to pull the wool, wool over your eyes. What is it that they don't want you to see? I feel like with the with the Ace of Cups, they're wanting you to like, you know, it's crazy. It's like they want you to love them. They want you to accept whatever olive branch if they if they were to um send you an olive branch or 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 to try to get you to reach out to them. Okay, like these people want you to feel like they love you or they all for you and so on and so forth, and they not. They want to, yeah, they want, I got love on my mind. I got love. That's how they want you on my mind. They want you to love. Yeah. What did I say? Nostalgia. Like this person wants you to think about them. And this shit is so old. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so, it's so old. It gets so old. They want you to ignore the truth about them. I just heard the devil that you know. And I told y'all this before, um, sometimes people will stick with someone who, you know, is what you see was out here in the dating pool. Cause trust me, um, I was dating heavy for like two years. <laughs> I said heavy, <laughs> whatever I was dating, right. For like two years. Um, and cause I've always been in like long standing relationships. I've been in like two long standing relationships or whatever. So, um, I, uh, I, I was dating for like two years and 
when I tell you the dating pool is very pissy with a little bit of shit in it, it's pissy with a little bit of shit in it, okay? Um, and <clears throat> you know, one of the thoughts that they that that you know this particular ex or whatever, I don't I don't even want to get that fucking loser any um <laughs> like clout because it's more than one loser. But anyway, um, what what the what one of the people was trying to do to me was make me feel like okay, you know, I'm the devil that you know, you know what I'm saying? These are these are new devils. Stick with the devil that you know. It's like, but either way, you're, you're 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 still the devil. You're still the devil. You know what I mean? And this is what I feel like these people or this person, you know, who's connected to this group, um, wants you to feel like. They want you to feel nostalgic, and they want you to feel like come back, come back to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the devil that you know. It's easier to be with me because you know you have invested a lot here. You know who I am, and um. It ain't nothing else out there. I'd rather be alone. <laughs> okay? I'd rather be single. Damn, they just, they just said something to me. Yeah, but anyway, this person wants you to, to think about them in some sort of nostalgic kind of way. I was going to say with the thing about, you know, you investing a lot of time into it and you do know this person, those would be the reason why they want you to think that that's the reason why you should come back. But that's precisely the reason why you should stay away from them. Okay. Don't ever get too lonely. Especially if you're a person like me, who's used to being in a long standing relationship. I'm talking about years and years and years, right? Um, and you used to having that camaraderie or what you think is camaraderie or whatever, right? So, so that you let, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the devil back in like, yeah, you're being, there's energy that's being sent at you in order for you to lose your balance. Okay. You know what this person is, you know what they're about. Don't allow this to consume you. Yeah, with this mystery. And what did I tell you about this person being arrogant as hell? Confidence, like, yeah, I know you'll come back. <laughs> or, yeah, I know if I just whisper sweet nothings in your ear, um, especially while you're sleeping or in a dream state, okay, I know that you'll trust me to let me back into your life. So I, I don't mean no harm, but you being looked at as a fool. We're being looked at as fools. Okay. And, and even what I said in the last read, like, even if, like, we not being looked at as fools anymore, because I feel like this is, this is, it's not even, because what I picked up in the last read was this particular person that's connected to you is taking orders from a spiritualist that is at the head of this COVID, right? And it's like, I feel like this person knows, like, yeah, I don't think this energy, this, this, this person is fucking with me no more. Like, I don't. I feel like that. I feel like her guard is up, so on and so forth. And I feel like the priest or whoever this is, is like sending them at you anyway. Like, yeah, we can do this. You know what I mean? Because they get in their moxie from somewhere. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Yeah, this, this, this is somebody who is trying to like, pretend okay and they're and, and they're really trying to do anything like you know I, I feel like this may even be somebody verbally telling you for some of y'all like listen we can do better i'm gonna come back and see your life i'm gonna make it right please y'all i'm tired of saying this it's like y'all know better than this y'all y'all do y'all know better than this <laughs> i had somebody i had somebody i love y'all um i had somebody email me and say Pretty, I promise I'm never going to um, allow anybody back into my life that has betrayed me to this, you know, certain extent. And I was like, okay. Because <laughs> y'all know, like, I love y'all. And I'm just, like, so dead serious about this. Like, don't allow these people. Like, they, they really are crafty. Do not allow these people back into your life, Okay. But I just, I, I chuckled because I found that shit funny. Like, yeah, that's hilarious.
this like because you know how um how serious I am about that shit somebody made me a promise <laughs> make peace with your past you guys leave all these things behind you and heal from it because one of the things that could um have you constant something something being able to attach to you in your dream state and stuff like that is if you're carrying on oh, carry carrying it on your heart or in your subconscious all right these people are seeking leadership over your life and leadership over your thoughts. They're going to always do it, okay? Don't worry yourself with asking yourself when is it going to stop, okay? These people either literally have to drop dead or be so um, overburdened by their own life that they're not going to be able to try to manipulate you and then even still they're going to do it because they're contracted to do it. So one of the things... You know, I, I keep telling y'all, you got to come out of that victim mentality. And sometimes I even get there where it's just like, yo, leave me <laughs> alone. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it It's not going to happen that way. Are you going to stop fighting for yourself? No. They're not going to stop fighting either. It's what they have to do. Okay. It is what they are contracted to do. It's about how you deal with it. It's about how you learn to protect yourself. It's, a, it's about how you learn to heal, you know, and going through these obstacles and going through these attacks. And it's about how you, how you fling that shit right back, <laughs> okay? It's about it's about how you, you know what I'm saying, you, 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 you defend yourself as well, okay? And you know when to defend yourself and how to defend yourself, all right? <clears throat> like I said, with the prettyoracle.com, um, I make the things available to you that I utilize myself. Definitely. With this fulfillment energy, you see how this peach is sitting here growing on this vine or growing on this tree or whatever the case is? This is how they're trying to get you. Like, they're trying to pump you up. Like I said, plump you up, fatten you up. I said this in the last read with um, thoughts and energies that allow for them to connect to you and... Um, And subconsciously fill you with the feelings that are beneficial to them, all right? Like, you, you having dreams of somebody, you know, professing their love and shit like that. But you know, you know what I'm saying, on the 3D that, these, that this person is a actively trying to attack you and actively has betrayed you and stuff like that. Then you know better. You know that, that them thoughts and those feelings are artificial. You can go ahead and do a subconscious flush. Yeah, I feel like, you know, where you're going to benefit from, you guys, do something different, okay? Keep your mind off this shit, yes. You're going to find your freedom, and I'm going to tell you like this, you're going to find your freedom in expressing yourself through your career in some way. You're going to find your freedom by investing into your happiness and your future and your money, okay? Um, some of you guys want to do fashion. Some oh, Somebody want to be a bodybuilder or... um. I just heard gymnast, but that ain't what I'm talking about. Um, a, a, a person who um, deals with like holistic health or even um, a workout guru or something like that. Yeah, there's a need to put an end to the old you who looks at yourself as a victim. Yes, look at that with the five of pentacles. There's a need to put an end to the old you that looks at yourself as a victim. Like I was saying you know, a minute ago. Word and just move on. Move move forward from that. Reinvent yourself, you guys. I, I would say pick up a hobby if you ain't got one. Okay? Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. What are you here to do? Yes, again, with another energy of investing. You know what I mean? Put, putting yourself into something that has to do with your hobby. Somebody want to... um swim i just heard boats and hoes what anyway like i said working on your job your career some of y'all might want to take a cruise or something like that or into what is this uh not aeronon aeronomics aquatics what is that 
is this aerobics in the uh water or something like that some of y'all might want to take up or swimming or something there's something here where you're going to find solace in it and, and it might even make you money or, or or help you put your attention into something else yeah look at that with the empress here Oh, um, horticulture, planting things, growing things, herbalists is out here. Yeah. I feel like God is giving you a new interest. I feel like the old interest was stressing you out or the old thoughts were stressing you out. God is giving you new dreams to chase. That's what it feels like. And I think I said, yeah, look at that with the Ten of Pentacles. Dreams that's going to find you wealthy. Or, or going to give you a, gonna give you um, some attention, okay? I feel like you might even be gifted with this male, whatever, you, whatever dream you chase, this male energy, your counterpart with the Empress here, and then we have the Emperor. Whatever dream you chase, um... I feel like you're going to find your, your counterpart in that dream, um, in, in the chasing of that dream. What did I say with the justice here? You might marry him. <laughs> yeah, you might marry him. Okay. He may be able to offer you things. He may be financially stable. Okay. Look at this back here. You guys may get, get, get married outside. I just heard golden arches. Yeah, you might have a beautiful wedding, you guys. You might have a beautiful wedding. There's something here where it's like, you know, you, you they want you to be, the enemy wants you to be distracted. By all the things that you've been through with this nostalgic energy. Like, they want you to be distracted uh, about all, all you went through or distracted about who to trust or distracted about shit. When it's just like trusting yourself. Can you trust yourself? Can you trust God? If you can, then invest in yourself and invest in God. That's it, okay? Pay attention to where, you know, the spirit is telling you to go. Yeah. Because the moon is here. You might not know, you might not know everything. And, 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 and you know, that's okay. But as long as you trust in the, the individuals that you're supposed to trust in, like I said, God in yourself, God in yourself. I feel like the moon here is wanting you to have so much, so much anxiety about, um, you know, the enemy wanting you to have so much anxiety about your forward movement. And it's like God has brought you this far. It's like, all right, whatever I choose, I'm going to be good regardless. Whatever path I choose, I'm going to be good regardless as long as I'm doing it um, in the highest vibration. This King, of, oh my God. this King of Wands, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this Virgo. Like... This Virgo is like watching you on your path, like <laughs> fist balled up, like why I oughta, you know, stalking you, following you everywhere that you go spiritually because like hovering over you because they can't let you go. I just heard, I really want to be with you, gotta be real with you, can't leave you alone, even though I'm living wrong, but I can't let you go. This person is a part of the lizard commu community. Lizard. Here, lizard, lizard. Reptilian community or whatever. Yeah, definitely could be a Leo. This Leo energy been coming up so much. And Taurus. Leo and Taurus. This person wants to be able to control what it is that you do. Even your religious, but even religious beliefs or your beliefs, period. Your beliefs, period, is like what this person wants. Like, yeah, like they want to control your mind. Like, and, and this is, and this has to do with, um, you know, what I was saying earlier about the nostalgic energy. It's like they want to bring you back because if you're, you know, descending 
then you know that means that you're closer to being on their level it's easier for them to infiltrate your dream state as well or your physical i mean your um your goals type of dreams, you know, your, your, your accolade, your, what, what you look forward to those dreams and the dreams that you have when you're sleeping, your dream state and your, um, dreams and goals. Like if you could, if you could manipulate a person's mind, you could, you could, you know, you could do a lot. Especially if you're giving them nostalgic energy and now their heart is connected that wow they just told me I might be leaving the earth soon. My girl gonna kill me if she smell a scent of your perfume. It's gonna be a clip toss if I go back with stains of your lip gloss on my throwback. Somebody's gonna probably um be deleted, okay, by a woman. This this male energy here that's after you like this, this King of Wands energy, um, might get deleted. Okay, unalived by a female energy. <clears throat> Somebody needs to heal their gut. Yes, yeah, so we have confidence, tran transformation, and financial health, and good luck. I had told y'all, right, infertility. I told y'all, go after your dreams, all right? I, I told y'all, whatever this new hobby it is that you that you going to pick up or that you've been thinking about picking up or whatever the case is, it's going to transform your finances. It's going to transform, like, how you see things as well because you're not going to have time to be stuck on the past. It, it feels like you need to exert your energy somewhere, you guys. You might even want to start working out or whatever, but... This pent up energy inside your body, I could feel it, and it has a lot to do with them throwing this energy at you, or this person throwing this energy at you to keep you nostalgic. It's a method, be it's, it's a method to the madness why they are doing this. It's so that you descend, it's so that they can easily infiltrate your energy. You want to get the cord cutter back from the from the pretty oracle.com and also the contract revocation candle. They're trying to stay in, in, in your life and in your thoughts any way possible. And I had explained that like two readings ago about, you know, certain people ascending to a higher level of consciousness and, you know, other people descending, going down, down, all the way down. There's going to be a big separation between the two, depending on which side you chose to be on. And a lot of people know this, especially people that's working with spiritualists that have years upon years in the game, especially if they work for the damn devil. They know this. And so what they're doing is trying to connect to you to stay above water and stay afloat. I don't know if y'all heard one of my candles pop behind me, but um, it is this. This is what it is. All right. We have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes. Go forth. Go forward to be great, y'all. It feels like a change of life. With this confidence and transformation, it feels like a change of life. Like, you know, um, I think I said this in one of the reads before this where I was basically talking about you being brought in a different direction. It may be... Um, the same type of career but in but manifesting in a different way you know what i'm saying like let's let's just say for example like with this thing here like um you um you are into aerobics right but you or, or weightlifting or whatever the case is working out but you also 
you know, want to take a swim class. And you might be thinking like, damn, swim don't have nothing to do with what I've been putting my heart and soul into for all this time. I know that my job is to, um, or my purpose here is to, um, teach aerobics or some shit like that or be into fitness and then all of a sudden you go and take the swim class and then you have your own set of classes where you teach aquatics uh, what the fuck what is it where you where you you know where you um work out in the water okay something like that it's like you you're going to be taken somewhere and you're going to think like, what the hell does this have to do with anything? And you're getting downloads like, yeah, you should go this way. You should go this way. You should go this way. And you're kind of resistant to it. Like, no, because I'm supposed to be doing this. But in some way, your um, hobbies are going to merge or your purpose is going to merge with a new hobby. And then it, it births something different. Okay? But you have to trust in spirit. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay? Um, because you've been getting this, 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 this push and this nudge to do something different. But it's all going to lead you to the same place, okay? I hope that helps.